Hi, I'm Charles Hardy from Alpha Dynamics USA, home of Competitive Edge Dynamics and Double Alpha Academy. Today I'd like to talk to you about chronographs. What makes a chronograph different from another? Why purchase one for $500 if you can purchase one for $90? Well, let's give you some information and educate you a little bit. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the CED M2 chronograph. CED has been making chronographs now for over 22 years. The CED M2 is the official chronograph for USPSA and IPSC worldwide. What makes it capable of being the official chronograph? Accuracy, ease of use, and dependability. Now, why are chronographs different? Well, we have chronographs, most of them on the market, use optical sensors. That means they need sunlight or some type of a light source in order to operate. Basically, in simple terms, they see the shadow of the bullet or the projectile going across, and that starts and stops the internal clock system of the product. Now, there are a few today that use a magnetic system. There are some that use radar system. But for the last 35, 40 years, the optical sensors have been the primary ones on the market. Now, what makes the CED M2 stand out? It's been laboratory tested, accuracy of 99.8 plus percent. It does use optical sensors, but the sensors are very high-end product. It is controlled in production at four stages for accuracy. The CED M2 is a product that comes complete for you, ready to use for $199. Let's talk about it a little bit today and let me show you some of the features. Here we have the main unit of the product. The main unit has the ability to record the shots or velocities as it moves through these screens. These are daylight screens and with the M2 it comes complete with the main unit, the daylight screens, side arms, the sensors, the two foot mounting bracket, all together. It also includes instruction book, a CD, some Velcro straps to tie up your 20 feet of shielded cable, and your connecting cable to connect the data collector to the main unit so that you can download your results and put it into any ballistics program that you would like. Now, what do we do on days where the sun is not cooperating? This is a very important thing since all optical sensors require sunlight and they require diffused light. That's what these top screens do. They create diffusion from the sun so that the optical diode down here can see the projectile going across and see a shadow under it. If the sunlight's coming in from the side, it's too bright, then the sun under the projectile is actually as bright as the sun over the projectile. And then you won't get a proper reading because it doesn't distinguish that shadow of the projectile. So what do we do on low light days or cloudy days or overcast days or when you're indoors on a range or you're under an overhang? Well, then you need to have some kind of a light system. And what we offer is a very advanced infrared light system. The infrared you cannot see. So we have put a red light, green light. When the green lights are on, you're ready to go. When you see a red light, something's not right, the connection's not correct, and you're not ready to go. The infrared system is very stable and it provides very consistent light. Now, when you're using an infrared system, you don't want to be out in the bright sunlight because we don't want the sunlight interfering with the infrared system overriding it or shadows coming from the side. So on the days when we're using infrared, we want it to be overcast and cloudy or put it under an overhang or put it in the shade. Okay, the infrared set, by the way, is an $89 option, which comes complete with the infrared screens, the side arms with the jack connection and the cables as well. And that fits right on this main system. So it comes with the regular daylight screens and you can purchase an optional infrared. Now, the infrared comes with an AC charger for the 110 voltage or universal 110 240. But we also produce a nickel metal hydride battery pack. So if you're on a range where you don't have any electricity, this $58 product gives you eight hours of field use consistently with the infrared screens. All right. 
how does the chronograph function? Well, the chronograph basically reads the velocity of a projectile. And in the case of the M2, it reads from a low 50 feet per second up to 7,000 feet per second. And it doesn't really care whether you're putting across an arrow, whether you're putting across a shotgun uh, pellet or pellets, or whether you're using any other kind of projectile. As long as it can cross through these screens, it's going to read it in that range of shot. We use it a lot for airsoft testing and for airsoft use as well. And today I put some airsoft velocities into the main unit so that you can see it. This chronograph reads high, low, average, extreme spread, high three average, which I'll explain later, standard deviation, which is calculated in two methods depending on the size of the string. All right, and it stores it and unlike a lot of the competitors, this also calculates power factor for USPSA shooting reasons. IPSC, USPSA require power factors so that you're consistent and that power factor can be calculated right into our home main unit computer. And it also has a built-in calculator to make calculations easy. Now, we can store up to 500 strings and 1,000 velocities more than you probably would ever shoot in a day at the range. You can then download them into an Excel spreadsheet and you can use them in any ballistics program you like. This makes it a very functional product. It works on a nine volt battery, which is all you need for daylight use. The sun provides the light you need, and you need nothing else. You only need the battery pack I showed you if you're using the infrared optional screens. All chronographs hate two things this in incorrect sunlight, which we've already just talked about, and muzzle blast, okay? In most cases, you want to position this far enough away from you at the range so that you don't have muzzle blast interference. If I'm shooting a handgun, that could be eight or 10 feet as a normal rule of thumb. If I'm shooting a rifle, it can be 12 to 20 feet. If I'm shooting a 223 AR, 12, 14 feet, I usually don't have a problem. If I'm shooting a 308, sometimes I have to be 18 or 20 feet. That's just something that I calculate with each rifle that I have. I stick it out as far as I can, I shoot through it. If it works fine, I move it closer to I find that point of no return. It helps you, the shooter, find out your best optimum position for each rifle or each handgun that you have. Make a note of it, and then every time you go to the range, you know right where to set up. All right, this is the CEDM2. We have a keypad which has an easy to read function and storage. You can recall any string you want simply by entering string, the number, and enter. We have a speaker. This allows you, unlike anybody else's on the market, it allows you to listen to the velocity being recorded as well as seeing it. Now, why do I want to do this? Well, if I'm zeroed in at 100 yards and I don't want to turn away from that point in order to see what my velocity is, I put the speaker on. I can hold through my sight downrange. I can listen to the velocity, and then I know exactly where I'm at. The CED M2 chronograph. It's an investment worth making.